Hey everyone! Since moving into Rocky, we've finally been able to bring our bikes along with us, which has been totally awesome, but I've been getting a ton of questions about our bike rack. So I've put it off long enough and I'm finally going to answer that question. This is definitely not the only solution and it may not be the best solution, but it's our solution. So there's like a million places you can think to put your bike. One place you can put them is on top of your car. The problem with that is that it makes you crazy tall and if you're super short like me, it's like impossible to get your bikes up and down. Plus, we like to use that for a little extra storage. Another place you can put it is on the back of the car. The problem I had with that is that I wanted to be able to get into the back of my car without having to move bikes. Another place you could put it is on the back of your trailer. In our case, that wasn't going to work because with the Outback Edition, the back end comes up. Also, it's going to make your whole setup a little bit longer and it might hurt with your clearance. So the best solution we could come up with was this. The important features to us were that it could carry two bikes, we could still open the LP cover even with the bikes up, and while the car's hitched up, we could still open the hatchback to the car. Now, if this is the solution you want to go with, you can search Amazon.com for trailer tongue bike racks and you can find a whole slew of solutions. So this one is made up of two parts. The first part is an extended hitch receiver. The bottom part of it bolts to almost any A-frame trailer, and the top part of it is just a standard hitch receiver. This particular one is made by a company called Up and Front. That's up, the letter N, front, and I'll link to that in this post. This particular model is about $310, and they make an attachment specifically for the tab trailer. Now for the top part, you can go with almost any bike rack that fits into a standard hitch receiver. This one that holds two bikes is made by a company called Swagman, and they make a lot of bike racks for RVs. For the most part, we've really liked this solution, but with anything, we haven't found the perfect solution. The only downside to this is that it's still kind of high. Not as high as putting it up on your car, but it's not the easiest thing to lift bikes up and down from. Luckily, I've got a super tall boyfriend. As with anything you have with you on the road, the most important thing is that it's useful. If you're putting your bike somewhere that you're not going to be able to get to them, don't even bother bringing them. So find the solution that you're actually going to use and that's going to be the right solution for you. So happy cycling, love and light.